Okay. I've been through and sorted all this out now. The battery's charged up. So the main battery's charged up, the controller's charged up. So when the battery's charged up, um, all the lights go out. It just stops charging. Same on the controller. This has got four lights. The controller's got four lights. So there's four lights on the bottom of the one we throw here. And they, once they'll start charging, they'll get up to full flashing and then they'll turn off. So this is all charged up now. So, that's in there. Moody outside. Um, the lead, the USB lead that's in the top of this, that connects to the phone. So I've taken the iPhone lead out, the lightning lead, and put the lead that suits my phone in there. So once you put your phone in there, put your phone in, and after you've got the app installed, it connects and you can change settings of the drone. This is also how you do the update for the drone. So your drone might update, it might have to update straight away. So to install the app, uh, it's in one of these pages here. Where are you? It says Mavic 2 Air, Mavic Air 2. And in here, there's a QR code. And it's also got, um, it shows you about the battery. Yeah. There, there's QR code. Download that. It took me a while. Um, install it. My phone didn't want to install it because it wasn't from the Play Store. Accept that and then you're away. And let that install. <coughs> and basically, once you've got that app in and running, um, just follow it. It's a step-by-step -step procedure. It tells you how to get everything set up. Um, so yeah, I'll basically I'll put the props in. So they just got to find where to locate, put it down, twist them into their spot, and they're in. Uh, it tells you how to turn the drone and the controller on. Um, being, it, you tap the power button once and then hold it, and it makes that sound. Same as the drone itself, you tap it once and then hold, and it has a fit, and then it's turned on. Um, do this with all your phone in there, so I don't have to work without the phone, I probably will, you probably just fly it without it, I don't know. Um, but that's how that works. Um, so this lead will be packed away in here. And when you close that when you're not using it. And that's still the charging port. That's fine. Turning it off is the same way. So you tap it once and then hold it. Turn it off. No sound. Turn it off. Same here. Tap it once and hold it. At least that tells you that it's worth the... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to try and fly it today, uh, being it's quite windy outside, but I'm not sure. Depends how game I am. So that lead, I'll just pack that lead up in there. Um, it's also got camera controls on the controller. This rotation one, I'll show it for you. If you're using that one up there, that rotates the gimbal up and down. And that one starts recording or takes a photo, whatever mode you've got in. Change the mode from taking a photo or video. That's the button to change it there. So change it, that toggles between video and camera. And that's the record button. And again, if you push the record button and it's recording, it stops. That's all I know about this at this, this stage. All I know is it's ready to go. Um, and I'm not game enough to turn it on inside to let it go. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, this is the gimbal protector. You only use that once you're packing it up for travelling. That's all it does. It just keeps it stable. Uh, what else have we got? Um, 
the other thing this doesn't come with is a car charger. So if you want to take it away with you, you might want a car charger if you don't have access to power. I'm going to order a car charger. Um, anything else to add? Comes with flying your drone for fun instructions. Um, if you don't know about the Australian rules, if, if you're in Australia, um, it comes with that, but pre packed the Australian rules in with Australia. There's not that much here. Why within 30 metres people do not fly over the top of people or um, cars? Um, if there's a height limit, flying high, that limit can be adjusted on your app. So the default setting for the height limit is set in your app, so you actually can't fly higher, but you can adjust that if you were confident enough that you point down next to it. Uh, what else? No, that's about it. There are websites and apps you can download for restricted areas and where you can and can't fly in Australia. Um, being doesn't appear to be that serious. You just not near airports and stuff like that. Um, it also tells you where heli pads are in your area if you look at the right pictures of that. The Victorian government, that's where we are in Victoria, um, have one. And I think that same app does all states. I can't remember but, but there. I've downloaded the app, I can't remember what it's called. But that wasn't hard to find, just for search drone rules in your state, whatever. Apart from that, I did look at the quick start guide, there's really not much in here. Um, I haven't learned how to use the different photography modes. I've just searched through the app that seriously. But all those modes are in the app, so you set those up. Um, thing you can circle you, follow you. Um, it does all these automatic features, which is pretty cool. Um, so I just haven't learned how to do it. Um, apart from that, it's ready to fly. Um, yeah, it's still too windy. You can hear the wind whistling around. Uh, not much to go in here. I like to learn how to use these lenses for the um, gimbal thing. I know nothing about them. And I can't find anything yet to see what they are. I don't know what that is, it might be a polarised lens. Uh, yeah, no idea. I'm just guessing. It's quite dark that one. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use the lenses straight up, I don't know. I'll put a lens, I think I'll have it to clear. I'll find those out. Um, yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.